So we are here with the newly found writing implement and let's see what comes out. So we have a dude here. La 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 This is the dude. And this is the aura of the dude. Or the electromagnetic field, or it can be the morphogenetic field. I'm not sure what kind of fields we have. We probably have quite a few of them, different kinds of things. But one thing you can rely on is that when we are rested these guys are large strong when we are uh, in our element like when we get praise when we get um, when we're with friends with people we get along with these guys get large because of the humor the fun vibes the the chemicals we make when we're having fun and so on and so forth so this is the dude and this is the fields that extend now when we get tired these guys get smaller they get smaller and smaller around the head so the thing is if you think about the stuff electrically these magnetic fields outside have a lot to do with the body voltage inside so yeah the eyeballs of the dude are nothing to write home about Uh, okay, uh, so if the if the body voltage of the guy is strong, you know, from doing sports, resting, good nutrition, and so on and so forth, then these guys will be strong. These don't just go around the head; they just they go around the body as well. So these guys extend like this, and they can also come out. I think the, the arms and the eyes and stuff like that. Um, and the way I get it. This is what we use for intuition because these fields interact with each other. So if there's another guy here or girl and they have their field, you see what's happening here? This is an interference pattern. So if, this, if these fields are stable and somehow compatible with these other fields, then there's some sort of harmony happening here these guys are drained depleted or unstable fidgety weird then even before you look at the person or touch them or talk to them or anything like that you can feel the fluctuations of their field in yours you see what I'm saying so if a drunk comes and sits next to you a drunk would be something like this they have just matter very low fields and so basically your own fields will encounter resistance when meeting the matter of the drunk. It's like you can imagine that these guys are spinning, like water spinning. And when they get a dense object that has no field or no water of its own, it just, there's no play there. There's no win-win interactions. It's just this thing like a rock, very dense, is just slowing down your field. So basically if you had this much field before the drunk comes to sit next to you when they sit here they basically slow down or remove this area of your field and now all you have is less like this the closer they sit the more there's a, a transfer of energy from you to them if that makes sense and then what happens is that they do get charged with your energy they, they get charged their fields get bigger but then they drink or smoke and then they slow it down again they they, they waste and reduce again because the alcohol and cigarettes add on uh, resistance basically here you have electric resistance and an over firing of the neural network which wastes energy and so on and so forth so um, this is kind of how I see things with 
empaths and uh, tripping for instance psychedelics will increase this stuff and so will meditation so if you do a lot of meditation which is eyes closed mindful breathing your fields will increase and that's why the buddha has these things depicted because people knew that there's something around the guy that's stronger in him than in other people so the more you stop talking stop acting stop moving and just breathe eyes closed and observe the network inside and outside the more your fields will grow and with like the larger these sort of fields the more magnetic you are the more people are interested in talking instinctively that people feel that you you've amassed a lot of pure energy and they want to somehow get involved in that either to steal it or to learn from you how you did it and just because it's, it feels good to be in that in the range of such organized balanced fields and so the more you do this the more you can just connect with more of yourself more of nature expand this and you will attract things to you without having to expand energy to walk and go and do a lot of actions yourself so if you remember those uh, uh, images with the buddha just sitting by a tree and people would come from long long distances to um, learn just to sit and listen and learn that's how it works if you get this kind of energy this um, the, the wisdom of how that's done will travel it w and anybody who's interested in getting some of that whether by stealing or learning will come to um, be in your presence in your field somehow at least electronically by like, watching your videos or something so this is uh, <laughs> one idea to explain with a with a stick